For those out of the know, The Snyder Cut is the uncut version of Justice League that director Zack Snyder originally intended. For some, the very idea conjures a joy which can hardly be contained, a feeling of hope that the 2017 superhero flick had potential after all. For others, The Snyder Cut is nothing but a pipe dream, something that can't possibly redeem what they consider well beyond irredeemable. Whether you're clamoring for it to hit your screen faster or cringing at its imminent arrival, the fact is that the Snyder Cut really is coming to HBO Max in 2021 under the title Zack Snyder's Justice League. How it will turn out is anyone's guess, but its release is inevitable. As of July 2020, we've got some interesting news regarding the lofty goals of this contentious director's cut, and just what we can expect when it finally arrives in our homes. The July 2020 promotional event Justice Con, streamed online to maintain social distancing just like San Diego Comic Con, featured Snyder in the appropriately named Spotlight on Zack Snyder panel. The hour-long interview covered a lot of ground, but perhaps the most notable tidbit lasted no more than a few seconds. In answering whether or not the film will truly be titled Zack Snyder's Justice League, which, to make a long story short, it may or may not be, depending on how the legal side of things play out, Snyder commented on the whopping $20 to $30 million Warner Brothers is granting him to complete his vision. The director gushed, It's just, it's exciting for me to get this chance, and so I don't, regardless, I don't look a gift horse in the mouth, I just love working on it, and I would do, you know, I would do it for free, and I am. Yes, indeed, folks. To hear him tell it, Snyder is working on his larger-than-life production of Justice League 100% free of charge. Talk about a passion project. Generally speaking, how much a director makes depends on a vast array of factors, but they are obviously not alone in the filmmaking process. That $20 to $30 million is going somewhere, with an army of digital artists and post-production specialists likely happy for the work, and an A-list cast presumably getting some sort of compensation for use of their unseen acting. But none of it is apparently sliding into Snyder's pocket, and seeing how invested he is in the whole shebang, things are looking up for DC fans and hopefuls. Considering the enormous financial failure Justice League experienced in the box office and how it was panned by audiences and critics alike, not to mention that Snyder was also behind the so-so Man of Steel and the reviled Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice, Warner Brothers must have quite a bit of faith in Snyder this time around. They're not lending him chump change after all. According to Snyder himself, Justice League was but a mere piece of an overall five-part arc. Similar to how Marvel weaves an overarching tapestry with each new entry into its cinematic universe, Snyder's initial plan may have introduced a greater sense of connectivity to the DC side of the superhero movie veil. Even with fewer films under the DCEU's belt, the potential cohesion may have canceled out how rushed many people believe Justice League felt. The Snyder Cut may only be a single movie, but it will fulfill some of Snyder's original dreams via its Lord of the Rings-like runtime of four hours, which is not absolutely confirmed, but likely. As it now stands in its theatrical cut, Justice League is half that long, so the possibilities of what might happen in all that extra time are ripe for speculation. One thing that already has fans going wild? Superman's black suit, revealed during the Justice Con interview. I'm assuming you're Alfred. Knowing it'll be in the film shifts speculation in a different direction. How will the black suit play a role in developing Superman's character and the relationships he forms with his superpower teammates? Could it have to do with the comics, or does Snyder have a different reason for its inclusion? Questions like these are just some of the mysteries on fans' minds, but there are more where those came from. What about scenes and characters already established in Justice League? It only makes sense to assume that the Snyder Cut's longer runtime will reveal new information, maybe even change some of it. Cyborg in particular should receive some special attention if what Snyder said in the past is to be believed. Didn't think you were ready for them to... For what? For them to see the monster. You are not a monster. It's weird that you thought I meant me. And where there's one change like that, there are likely to be ripple effects. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.